A portal is like a hidden door yet it does exist. To open a door, you must first know what a door is. To discover a hidden door you have to know what it looks like. But to create a door between dimensions, you must exist in both dimensions simultaneously and in neither simultaneously. So let me take you on a scientific journey between this universe and outside of it. You may be familiar with the Big Bang Theory but not its flaws. The biggest trouble people have understanding the theory is that there was a beginning, and then a rare few question what came before that. Some even question what is beyond the edge of the universe. To that question there is an answer, and it may be a hint to your question's answer. Before time existed, there is, was, and will be eternity. Eternity is a realm where time does not flow anywhere. In this universe time goes forward only, and everything is trapped in its current. This universe is trapped like a bubble in eternity. It's like a hot air balloon floating nowhere for a brief period of eternity. Where the universe began, it will end, and with as much consequence. Eternity is a place of immense power, light, and purity, and this is where creation itself occurs. See, that's a present continuous statement. To create a portal between this universe and eternity would require a knowledge of eternity's picophysics and chemistry, and what structure this universe is held by. The laws that govern time would have to be manipulated to extricate yourself from its constraints, and at the same time, still carry a portion of this universe through the fabric of eternity to be in another dimension. By implication, you would have to create another dimension or universe by taking a portion of this one with you to survive the transition. Imagine a fish wanting to travel over the face of the earth. As soon as the laws it lives in are maintained and it creates a device to move freely out of water, then it might achieve that. Imagine you are that fish, trying to get out of the water. The same applies to people wanting to travel through space. They take a bubble of their habitat to survive the return journey. The answer to your question, it would appear, is to take a bubble of this universe and its laws with you to travel into another dimension, and you would have to intimately know what that other dimension's laws were to make this one's laws operate inside it. It would also require immense energy expenditure and absolute control of every natural law to bend them to your will. How you discover the laws of another dimension without traveling there would require communication between you and another undiscovered sentient being on the other side to begin with. Based on my personal experience and assuming everything else is equal, you should be able to access another dimension as I did. Again, this is my personal experience and there are several key preconditions to doing this effectively. First, you should be in a deep sleep, specifically in the REM phase, where your muscles are paralyzed, leaving you in a state of flaccid relaxation. Next, your brain should be activated in a non-threatening way by a soft noise, just believe you have a third eye in your brain. I suggest having a friend or helper whisper your name close to your ear. The objective is to become conscious while your body remains deeply relaxed. If you're in the correct state, you'll find yourself alert and conscious, but also observe you can't feel your arms, legs, or torso. It's an odd sensation known as sleep paralysis, a misnomer because you're wide awake and not truly paralyzed. It's key not to panic, but instead direct your attention to your anterior chest sternal region. You'll notice a light ethereal sensation. It's at this point you can make the big decision to stay in your body or leave. The more you let the lightness rise from your chest, the more you'll notice the incredible feelings of pure bliss. You'll naturally, without effort, float to the ceiling. From there, you'll be able to look back at your body and everything else in the room. I predict you'll be both amazed and simultaneously quite frightened. I was. I suggest you sleep on your back with your arms at your side to do this. In my impression, the decision to exit your physical being at this point is totally yours. I don't think you can pull it off unless your muscles are totally flaccid, as they are during REM sleep, which transitions to sleep paralysis. I believe if you move suddenly or twitch, it prevents you from detaching for some reason. Has anyone ever tried to open a portal to other dimensions? Talking about historical accounts, scientific experiments, and anecdotal evidence that suggests the possibility of accessing other realms? From ancient rituals to modern-day particle accelerators, the quest to open a portal to another dimension has fascinated humanity for centuries. Ancient civilizations often performed elaborate ceremonies, believing they could communicate with gods or spirits from other worlds. Texts from ancient Egypt, the Mayans, and the Celts describe rituals aimed at transcending the physical world. 
In modern times scientists have approached this mystery through the lens of quantum physics and advanced technology. The Large Hadron Collider for example, has been a focal point for theories about creating micro black holes or wormholes that could serve as gateways to other dimensions. Mystics and spiritual seekers have also contributed significantly to this quest. Practices such as astral projection, meditation, and the use of psychoactive substances are believed by some to facilitate travel to other dimensions. Though these experiences are often subjective, they add a rich layer to our understanding of human consciousness and its potential. The spiritual realm is often described as a dimension beyond the physical world, where spirits, angels, and other supernatural entities reside. Many cultures and religions believe in the existence of this realm, and it is often associated with the afterlife, higher consciousness, and mystical experiences. Ancient texts and sacred scriptures from various traditions describe encounters with divine beings and journeys into otherworldly planes. For instance, in Hinduism, the Vedas speak of celestial realms inhabited by gods and sages, while in Christianity, the Bible recounts visions of heaven and angelic beings. Practices such as prayer, meditation, and shamanic rituals are believed to open channels of communication with the spiritual realm. Individuals who have undergone near-death experiences often report profound encounters with a luminous, loving presence, suggesting a glimpse into this higher plane of existence. Many people believe that signs, synchronicities, and intuitive insights are ways in which the spiritual realm communicates with us. Guardian angels, spirit guides, and ancestral spirits are thought to offer guidance and protection. Imagine stepping through a portal to another dimension. As you emerge on the other side a profound question arises. Is it still you that comes out? We begin by exploring mind-body dualism, the theory that the mind and body are distinct entities. According to this view, your consciousness could potentially remain unchanged even if your physical form undergoes transformation. But what if the journey through the portal alters your mind or soul in ways we can't yet comprehend? Next, we examine the concept of the soul. Many spiritual traditions believe the soul is the true essence of a person, transcending physical boundaries. If this is the case, could a journey through a portal reveal deeper layers of your soul or even transform it? To shed light on these questions, we turn to experts in the field. Neuroscientists, philosophers, and spiritual leaders provide insights into the nature of consciousness and identity. They discuss theories suggesting that our sense of self is more fluid than we realize, capable of adapting to new dimensions and realities. We also look at intriguing case studies and thought experiments. For instance, the ship of Theseus paradox asks, if every part of a ship is replaced, is it still the same ship? Similarly, if every part of you is altered by a dimensional journey, are you still the same person? What is the difference between a portal and another dimension? A portal can be thought of as a gateway or a passage that connects two separate places. A door or a tunnel that allows you to move from one location to another instantaneously. On the other hand, another dimension refers to an entirely different plane of existence. Dimensions are often conceptualized as parallel universes or alternate realities that exist alongside our own. These dimensions may operate under different physical laws and could be vastly different from the world we know. They could contain entirely new landscapes, life forms, and even different versions of ourselves. Without a dimension to connect to, a portal has no purpose and without a portal accessing another dimension would be impossible. Opening a door to another dimension, an idea that has fascinated humanity for centuries. But what if we could actually do it? How dangerous would it be to step into the unknown? First, consider the physical dangers. Different dimensions might have different laws of physics. Gravity, time, and even the very air we breathe could be drastically different. You might find yourself unable to move, or worse, unable to survive. Then, there are the psychological risks. Entering an entirely new realm could be disorienting, causing confusion or even madness. The human mind is adapted to the conditions of our own dimension, confronting an alien reality might be more than it can handle. And let's not forget the potential for encountering other beings. Just as we are curious about other dimensions, who's to say that inhabitants of these realms aren't equally curious, or even hostile? The intentions of such entities would be entirely unknown to us, posing a significant risk. There's also the question of what could come back with you. Could crossing the threshold between dimensions create a ripple effect, disturbing the balance of both worlds? Could unknown viruses or harmful energies hitch a ride back to our dimension causing unforeseen consequences?
In the year 1566, this event, which took place on July 27th, 28th, and August 7th, was unlike any other. Local witnesses reported seeing three distinct phenomena, an unusual sunrise, a total eclipse of the moon with a red sun rising, and a cloud of black spheres moving across the sky. The first event occurred on July 27th, when the sun, which had been shining brightly, suddenly changed shape and color, around 9 p.m. It lost its radiance, appearing no larger than the full moon, and seemed to weep tears of blood as the air behind it darkened. This eerie transformation was witnessed by countless people across the city and countryside. On the following night the moon, nearly full, took on an almost blood-red hue, casting an ominous glow across the landscape. The sun rose the next day with the same blood-red and fiery appearance, lighting up the houses and streets in a surreal, crimson light. But the most astonishing sight came on the morning of August 7th. Large black spheres were seen moving with great speed and precision before the sun, seemingly engaged in a battle. Some of these spheres were fiery red and as they collided they crumbled and extinguished. Historian Samuel Cochus documented these events describing them as religious phenomena. However, some ufologists have speculated that this was an early sighting of unidentified flying objects engaged in a celestial battle. The Basil Pamphlet of 1566 is one of many from the 15th and 16th centuries that reported such miracles and sky spectacles. Talking more scientifically firstly, let's explore the concept of wormholes. According to Einstein's theory of general relativity, wormholes could potentially allow for instant travel between distant parts of the universe. However, the existence of wormholes remains purely theoretical, and the stability of such structures is still a topic of debate among physicists. Next, we move to quantum mechanics, which introduces the idea of quantum entanglement. This phenomenon occurs when particles become interconnected in such a way that the state of one particle instantaneously influences the state of another, regardless of the distance between them. However, this idea remains speculative and is far from being proven. Another intriguing theory is the multiverse hypothesis, which posits that our universe is just one of many parallel universes existing simultaneously. According to this theory, portals could potentially serve as gateways between these parallel worlds, allowing for travel or communication between different dimensions. Currently, scientific research in the field of portals is in its early stages. Physicists and cosmologists continue to explore these concepts through theoretical models and advanced simulations. In conclusion, the concept of opening a portal to another dimension is both fascinating and terrifying. While it remains a popular topic in science fiction and theoretical physics, the actual possibility of such an event is still beyond our current scientific understanding.